Oh shit. <laughs> I almost ran into the show. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, y'all? A mill in the making. What up, though, girl? What's up, sis? Only one mystical Browns production. I see you, Breezy JJs. Who else in the building? Love my life that I love. It's a lot of name. Uh, Ms. Unique Love Stuns, Money Penny 212. Uh, Sorry. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Savage AF. It's your boy, Black Pedro. We're waiting on Shang. Uh, he might be a little, well, he's going to be a little late today, uh, dealing with some stuff. Um, but, uh, he'll, he'll be in, in, in the building. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get to pinning. Uh, you know, we are on YouTube now. We have a page. It's, uh, what's up, Francisco Phoenix? Uh, it's, uh, Savage AF Podcast. All right. Let me see. I'm going to go like this. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Boom. So make sure you guys uh, get in there. Do what you do. Uh, follow, subscribe, share it. Even even equally important. All right. So Chief Lady FRM, we see you. Uh, pretty on the left and the right, Nikki FSU. Man, thank you all for, for joining us every day when we come in here Monday through Friday on Instagram Live. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, we're on at 3 p.m. like we are right now. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are Pacific Standard Times. Do the calculations for your own time zone. Okay, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, but that being said, we do thank you for sure uh, for, 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 for following me, Black Pedro, and at Comedian Shang here on IG. And when you when you miss us, AJ Fit three sixty five, I see you, I see you, bro hams. Uh, when you when you aren't able to catch us here on IG Live, uh, know that we are available on all podcast platforms. Sa Savage AF, that is the name. And then uh, if you want to see us and not just hear us, and you miss the live, that's what that's where the YouTube comes into your life. That's where it's so critical, so crucial. You know what I'm saying? Keep you in the game. You can catch up. Savage AF podcast. I've pinned it at the bottom right here where my finger, see my finger. All right. So it, it's right there for you. Uh, make sure you follow that and, and spread the word. Let your people know where the, where the information is coming from. And the infotainment is really what it is. Cause you know, we're not, this is my living room. So, you know, we're not like a newsroom per se, but we do have that lens, that perspective. You know what I'm saying? We some educated brothers, uh, who don't hold back on what we say. So, uh, that's what Savage AF is. Y'all already know. Tell a friend. That's what it is, y'all. Um, I hope you had a good uh, good weekend, everybody. Uh, oh, I see Shang is in the building. Uh, here in L.A., uh, it, this is, you know, it's like a national holiday. It's the Lake Show has won. The Lakers won. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an official Laker, Laker hater as an as a original Pistons bad boy fan. Y'all see what it is on my chesses. What up, though? Hey. Hey, what's, what's going up, on with it, man? Uh, I was just talking. Man, about it's uh, drama. I got it together. I'm going to just, you, you know. You good with it? Somebody apparently went ham on my cards, off my cards, my credit cards. Mm. And, yeah, so I had they to cancel them. They didn't hack you. Yeah, they hacked my, 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 my accounts, both my accounts. And then uh, so they're going to reimburse me, and then I, I'll call claims later today, get it together, and That's cancel my cards out for like 10 days. That's what it is. I'll get a new car in 10 days. So okay, um, yo man, I, I I read I read the. Uh, did you already did the run up, the run down? I, I, I haven't done the run up yet. I, I was I was just uh, doing a little intro bullshitting on the uh, on the Lakers winning their seventeenth championship. I'm a, I'm a I was saying I was a Laker hater. I'm a Laker hater, but I I am a, a LeBron James fan. Like I I believe in the guy, and it, it really doesn't even have anything to do with basketball other than he is the greatest basketball player on the planet, and. Is doing great. Well, other than, and, other, and other does, than you, and does well. You know, I, I stay humble, <laughs> but uh, and, and, but he does he does great things off off the court, I, and I believe even greater right. things. And uh, cool. uses uses his platform and voice and um, popularity for some very very positive things. So, uh, right. shout out to LeBron James and the Lakers. I like Anthony Davis. You know, uh, I didn't even know they won at first. Oh yeah, bro. They they pulled it off. But uh, you know, he he's got schools and all kind of positive initiatives and pantries in right. the school. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's right. a beautiful thing, man. He's, beautiful he's helping thing. strippers get off the pole. Yeah, you man, know? you know. Which yeah, you know. That that's just the positive. I mean, you just you know, it's like, hey you strippers, 
Uh, but some strippers like being on the pole, but he just goes, you know what? I'm LeBron James. You ain't never got to be on the pole no more. And they go, oh, thank you, LeBron. Did you, Hope you, win the, you know? Did you see the stripper ad that they did in, in I think, yes. in Atlanta where they were voting? Yeah. So <laughs> vote. And then they pussy pop. And then vote. And then pussy pop. I'm like, I don't like, know if I'm focused on voting or, you know, I'm trying to vote on, focus on voting. They're but like, I can't right now. They're like, don't, so like, police, hard. don't like police brutality. Yeah. You could vote for your new sheriff, and then they start popping that stuff. And it's like, yeah, I should do that. Yeah, I, you uh, know what? But people, people are looking down on it, saying, "Is that the only way we can reach our people?" Sometimes no, you got to do wild shit. It's a layer. It's a layer. It, it, it's not all RVA gourmet. Welcome to the building. You, you're late. You are late. I love you, but you got to go sit in the corner. You know what this is. Um, DFA Eleven, we see you as well. Um, no, man, I. It's not. It's not the only way that. that, that black people have been approached around voting it, it's it's a layer and for some of y'all who sit at the bottom of this vote cake <laughs> it, it's for you it's for you bottom ass right like, i wasn't gonna vote but uh twinkle twinkle told right. me to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah sugarfoot got me out here um, yeah she got me out here voting you know what i'm saying uh, you know what I'm saying? I, Vibrating pussy lip uh, really got my point across. That's what it did. Damn, my girl is smart. And I, booty is huge. So, uh, booty, yeah, booty, I saw that. And it, I, I was offended by the fact that people were offended. I'm like, get to, get the fuck over yourself. Yeah. It's like, it's just another way to get at people, to get them to do what they need to do. That's all it is. Shit. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, all right. So, let's... let's Speaking of the show, Savage AF, let, let's start speaking of it and do it. <laughs> Get into it. It is. Yeah, I guess so. It is, uh, <laughs> I guess that's what it is. You know, might as well. Both my, both my fucking cards. <laughs> Bastards. Got you. All right. I got a, that off my chest. Look at A. Pammy Pooh back in the house. What up, girl? Not uh, Nap. Hey, what's NYC, up? We see you as well. Um, all right. So today, October 12th, 2020. This is your daily run up because we don't run down the show. We run up because Savage. Oh, we don't have uh, we don't have since we're not in the studio. We have music, but I'm just gonna do this. Dun, dun, dun. Run up okay, on your yeah. ass! All right, we're gonna yeah, that's the music. Here they come! All right, so we're gonna end today's <laughs> show uh, talking about. Uh, I'm just gonna make up a title: Grin and Burrett. <laughs> Bill Burr on SNL. Yeah. Let's talk about it. But before that, yeah, I just I just posted that up too, so I got crazy response. Yep. Um, but before that, um, we're gonna talk about box news. Uh, uh, unofficial ballot boxes have popped up, or at least one in in California. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, but before that, we're gonna talk about an ad lib uh, where Dumpty has used uh, Fauci in a campaign ad against Fauci's will, and we're gonna talk about that. And he said something about it, which is great, too. Yeah. I thought, I'm glad he spoke out yeah. on it and said, whoa, I didn't say you could use my image, motherfucker. Hey. Um, yeah. uh, also, hey. on, uh, but uh, before we talk about that, on the road again, just can't wait to get back. On the road again. <laughs> right yeah, now. Right, on the COVID again. Right now in Sanford, uh, Florida, it looks uh, hundreds, maybe thousands. I don't know. It was a large crowd. Thousands. It's thousands. Thousands, it's thousands. of people uh, are waiting for your boy. I wouldn't call them people. I'd say they're dummies. Well, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean. They, they, so your boy is back on the campaign trail. We're going to talk about that. But before that, we're going to get into the basics, y'all. Uh, Savage AF, at Comedian Shane, oh, at Black Page. Also, make sure you guys follow um, – Make sure you guys follow at Black Pedro. Also, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. But when for the podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeart Radio, Spotify, and then for the um, YouTube channel, make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe. Savage AF Podcast. Make sure you go to there. We want to see more subscriptions. Uh, we got to get to. We got to get to five hundred million by the end of this month. Million. Yeah. <laughs> 500 million yeah. but so make sure you do that all right so i i'm not playing with y'all okay yes, sir. i've had enough of this bullshit where you watch the show you do the shit and you ain't subscribing all these motherfuckers have watch the show listen to the show but won't subscribe so if you don't subscribe i'm gonna be very upset with you i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna start fucking smacking the shit out of babies out of <laughs> little babies and then oh, i have to man. fight their parents and it's your fault Yep. Not so don't your parents over you. Don't get don't get him the baby slapping, y'all. Just do the easy thing. Do the easy baby thing. smacking. All right. 
It's right across, like, you know, right across the head. S R N C. We see you. What's up, lady? All right, y'all. So let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna start today's show with "Now I Know My ACBs." Oh wait, uh, ACB wait. is Amy Coney Barrett, who uh, her her Senate hearings began today, or congressional hearings, I should say, uh, began today. Actually, it is a Senate hearing. Um, and uh, it was mo it was mostly, you know, her introducing herself, opening statements. Uh, we haven't gotten into the questioning part, but this was that's tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. But this was definitely the, the, the posturing part of it. Um, she aligned herself with Scalia, you know, almost, you know, full in step. And uh, the Republicans are setting up the don't don't hate her because she's Catholic. And the Democrats are like, but what about Obamacare? Uh, yeah, we ain't talking about her Catholic ass. I th I'm so sick of these motherfuckers. We know it's okay. She's Catholic. You're trying to use the religious right and the religious people to say, well, she's you're against religion. It's that fucking magic thing where like, I'm, I'm moving over here and I'm grabbing your pussy. I'm moving right my hand right here, but I'm pussy grabbing <laughs> yeah, right here. It it's is. the same old dumb shit. Stop with the dumb fucking thought process. It's about the Affordable Care Act. It's about Roe versus Wade. All you women out there, we told you this before. Pedro said it clearly. Something about, I don't know, you better hide your pussy. You better not get pregnant and not want that motherfucker because guess what? It's going to be a wrap if this ghostly asshole, she looked like she's transparent. It looked like Casper nutted on her face. She is just... Shane, she has, she has black children. Come on, man. I, she has she got him. She went, she went to, and she got him from another country, man. Okay, so okay. Well, tell you, you know clearly, what? Still, clearly, her clearly. fucking Scalia. Scalia had some frightening fucking ideas. Just frighteningly right against everything that is logical and holy. Best friend. I mean, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yes. Ruth Bader Ginsburg yeah, yeah, but best friend. friends with her because they because he made her. He, he made, made her laugh, yeah. but they were diametrically opposed when it came to a lot of shit. Of course. And now they want to do this. So I say fucking Democrats, pad, if this bitch get in there, pad the court, fuck them. Fuck them. Play hardball like these bitches play hardball with you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Had to get that shit off hey, your chest. Hey, well, let it off your chest. Speaking of chesses, uh, AJ Fit 365 said, what babies do, Shane? Um, and uh, to, <laughs> to, to be honest, to be honest, AJ, I got to call you out, bro. We, we have proven here on this show that you you kick little people into the trunk of your car like it's a game, okay? Yeah. That that is something that I believe you have admitted here on this show, and we thank you for your honesty. But you can't go question baby slapping when you midget kicking out here, okay? So right. Into, yeah, right. Into Anytime trunks. you're dwarf, yeah. When you're dwarf punting, yeah, you can't really that's, talk shit that's to me not, when you punt dwarf. You know, I, I would, okay. I would <laughs> say you live in a glass house. Hold your stones. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, exactly. So, Live in a glass house. You shouldn't be kicking midgets. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Miss Adverb, you sneaking in late? I see you. Go ahead. Make some noise. I see you. What's up, Miss Adverb? Okay, job 1229 is in the building, too. Detroit is all up in the house. Go lightly educational center. <laughs> oh, AJ Fit, but they're grown. But they're okay. grown. That makes sense. <laughs> he he has right. a logic to it, at least. That's okay. Well, There's a know. logic to it. As long as yeah, you can answer why you're doing it. I'm kicking. It's, it's like, you know, they little, hey, but man, they're adults. Hey, man, why you kick that little person into that trunk? They grown. That's that's his reason. That's why he did it. Okay. All right. Well, at least we have some re reason. Uh, we'll see the reasons um, that, uh, you know, Republicans and, and Democrats come up with to either support or deny uh, ACB, Amy Coney Barrett. Um, but, I, yeah. you know, I uh, first of all, it, it was uh, disclosed recently that she, she did or discovered recently that she didn't disclose uh, two speeches that she gave that were sponsored by, you know, uh, right to life uh, groups. Um, I believe uh, student groups that she spoke to at, right. her, at her alma mater at Notre Dame. Uh, not sure that obviously it's not enough to stop the process. They're in it now. It's not going to stop the process. They're going to slam dunk this whore through. And I called her a whore because I <laughs> she just has feel black like Ben. Children, Shane. She bought yeah, I know, man. I'm sorry. I'm just I called her a whore because I just want to be. I want to be obstinate. <laughs> today i just feel like being optimistic just doing and it. i just think it's so much shit the, the bottom line is they know exactly why they're putting her in there they're putting her in there to stop the basically overturn the affordable care act on november 10th they they were going to go full blast after that and they also are want her in there because the religious right and the right don't give a fuck what trump does even yeah. if you rape somebody they could give a fuck the bottom line is they want 
uh, they want Roe versus Wade overturned, yeah. well, that, or, or either overturned or made more difficult to get an abortion anywhere in the country by moving them into other states and having some states. And it should be a state thing. And even then, it shouldn't be. It should be a woman got the choice thing. Yeah, period. Sure. The fucking end. But, and and there's no women that you know. There's no women really. Um, when you look at the the government, women aren't even fifty percent of the government. Yeah, and they should be. Well, and that, and that, and you know that's why you know it is kind of important, absolutely that uh, you know those speeches that she gave in the past were you know right uh, were you know both discovered but also undisclosed. Um, right, and pretty on the left and right said that her her acceptance speech was corny as fuck. It was so it was like I was watching. I don't know. This is for older people. It was watching old school like like Amy like. I don't know what was the it, show. It, 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 was like, it was like watching a commercial for milk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like you I, know, And I started, like, when I drink I, a cold I bought glass a puppy. of milk, it's like, ugh, kill yourself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so it's it's bullshit. The Republicans, we need to, exactly, Brown Productions, I agree with you a thousand percent. We have to vote down ballot because the bottom line is, one, we got to get the president out the fuck out of here because he's out of his mind. He's steroided out. He's still fucking... He's still contagious, even though he doesn't say it. The, the doctors are full of shit. And so you need to vote him out. But we need to make sure that a lot of these motherfucking Republicans that are slam dunking this this horrible hag through. I don't give a fuck how well scrubbed she is. She's a horrible hag. She's a right wing thinking, a horrible hag. We wouldn't even have a light bulb if it was up to this bitch. No, what's wrong with candles? Um, so uh, I just I feel like we got to vote these motherfuckers out or at least make them pay dearly for pushing this bitch through. J News in the building. By the way, uh, if you're wondering uh, what's wrong with uh, the light bulb, it, it does it does lead to uh, illegitimate children. Yeah, just saying. People, we already know that. you didn't have as many illegitimate children uh, when it was when it was you know candle time. Tyson Banks, what's yeah, up? What's exactly, up, cuz? Exactly. What's up, cuz? The fastest cousin in the family is in the building, y'all. J News is in the building. Um, all right. So speaking of being roided out. Uh, your boy Trumpy Dumpty, like we said, is in Sanford, Florida, of all the places in <laughs> Florida. America. The Florida. Big. Come on down to Florida. What you want, COVID? What the fuck what is wrong? Why haven't they? Hmm? Come on down to Why Florida. Haven't they, they should do the 25th uh, Amendment and get this motherfucker. Somebody stop this motherfucker. Where are the motherfucking Avengers when you need them? I need, that, I need the Avengers to, to fucking go back through time, get the shit, and then come back. Come through the portal and helpful. stop these evil GOP bitches. What y'all doing, yeah. man? But uh, Fucking... yeah, yeah, he, you know, this is. I mean, he, he had this shit. He, he was diagnosed like a week ago, dog, like ten days ago. And he, yeah, he, he's he, not, now now he he's believes clear. He, he believes he's cured. He he did get clearance. He was funny. But it wasn't. No, what's funny? It was is, a it was a lion ass doctor that he cleared got, it. He got cleared. To 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 be out in public again after after he did one public event already, the like the, the thing at the White House. By the way, that shit at the White House over the weekend uh, was mostly blacks and Latinos. Now I don't know if they paid y'all. Uh, there wasn't with, that many. There wasn't that many people. Collective coons, but but it was mostly blacks and Latinos, right? <laughs> right? And. I don't know if those people were paid to be there, and I'm, we're just going to collectively call them coons, right? The coon ain't right. even about skin color, right? It, it's, it's called, really it's called uh, in the, in, right? In the wild, it's called a coon cluster. Bro. Um, where they, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a coon, a coon cocoon. Wait, That's uh, what it is. I think, I think they, I think in total, the 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 diaspora is referred to as the cooniverse. Yes. Yeah. If you if we look at yes, it, it, collectively, it is called the cooniverse. They are in yeah. their own cooniverse. Um, and I, you know, even if you, if you pay, if you got paid to be there, Cooney, if you, if you think and believe in, in Trumpy Dumpty and you're, and you're black or, or Latino, Cooney, Cooney, Cooney. Um, but <laughs> Cooney Cuckoo. Cooney Cuckoo. <laughs> right, you crazy coon. Um, uh, but you know, he's, he's out here rallying again, your boy Trumpy Dumpty and, and he, he, he's right back at it. They, they are, and, and people don't give any, he, he believes he's cured. He's calling the therapeutics a, a cure, and they're, they're probably not even that. He's probably just on roids. <laughs> and, and, it's and, and right. Tylenol. The roids mask what he's feeling. And the bottom line is, if you look at it, I looked at um, – they were covering it on CNN. 
that all of the places that are spiking heavily, super duper spiking heavily, are red states. They are red states for sure because the red states are the ones that are back in this fucking psychotic fucking dream of this idiot that wants to be Mussolini. So end of the day, you already know what the situation is, what he's going to do. And Florida, too, which is primarily a red state, which is actually starting to lose ground because uh, after the debate, there was a lot of Flor Flor Floridians that was like, this motherfucker is crazy. So this is before the steroids. This is before they said he was on steroids. So. I think that the bottom line is, and you think it too, we both, I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say Pedro thinks this. This motherfucker needs, because his mother, Pedro's mother and, and Pedro were like, go COVID. Please, COVID, take this motherfucker out. I have this, I mean, I have this vision of hope of him at one of these rallies and he's and, and mid speech about some donkey biscuit over. bullshit. He just slumps over. Just <laughs> and we hear the last breath, and it sounds like, <laughs> and it sounds yeah. like Cheeto dust, and yeah, he just he just boom, boom. and and you you hear that sound and him slump over, and the crowd che the crowd cheers because they think that he's um, taking a stand against microphones or something. I you know I don't know I, it, I you know I don't know. But uh, or if he's taking a knee for the police or something, I, you know, I don't know. But I, ju I just literally just want him to be like, and and then Mexicans, and you know, it's <laughs> right, really fucking just. And 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 it's so funny. All of his uh, that they back this racism because it is flat out. He's flat out racist. And the fact that there's Hispanics, uh, there's black and brown people that were down there at this fucking uh, horrible cluster of COVID. Yeah. Uh, because they, 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 all of them have been proven to be super spreader, you know, in, like situations. Every time they, he's done it, it's been a super spread. Mm -hmm. Like literally, right after that, yeah. you know, seven to ten days. So, it, you know what, Florida, expect to get more sick than you already are, and you're already fucking peaking more than California now, bitches. So enjoy yeah. your respiratory system while you got it, you motherfuckers, because it's gonna be gone. AJ Fit three sixty five said, "I live in a red state and everybody's out, no masks, everything open too." See, and, you know that that's just that it's 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 a mindset, man. You know, it, it's a it's a thing, and we 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 all hate wearing masks. Like no, I don't love the nobody. Mask. Yeah, nobody's it, down for it. You know, I mean, we, like, yeah. but you just it's it's like one of those things you do. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's. Certain things you 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 just do that to help yeah. yourself and the community out. You know what I mean? Like there was pe certain people in uh, I I forget what the the story was exactly, but I I got it pretty much. Uh, I'll summarize um, that they said that during the World War they asked people please don't leave your lights on because they can give indications where to bomb. Mm -hmm. And they said just hey, you know because it'll they'll kill everybody in the village. And of course you had those few people. You ain't gonna tell me not to turn my lights on. They turn their lights on. I'm the a night bombers were like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I I like to read at night. I'm gonna keep my lights on. Fuck all y'all. And the, when they did turn the lights on, guess what? The bombers knew exactly what to fucking do, and bombed their village and killed everybody. Yeah. So so it's the same shit. It's like ah, it's kind of inconvenient, but guess what? Fuck it. And speaking of masks, if you like masks, you might as well get a Savage AF mask. Yeah, we got them on the website, working, motherfuckers. Working. Yeah, go check out the website iamshang.com backslash merch and we got Savage AF um, t-shirts and we got Savage AF masks and also we now have Savage AF uh, mouse pads. We're going for it. We ain't fuck around. Damn. But uh, So if you get a chance, buy one of the masks. But aside from that, I think that this is going to end up being another situation in Florida because there's a ton of people. I already saw the footage there. I They're think it's going to be another situation... Other, yeah, right. There's nobody. They're not masked up. They're, there's going to be another situation like uh, North Dakota. There's going to be another situation like Wisconsin where a bunch of motherfuckers is going to get it even more and more. And, you know, and there's a good chance that the elderly that come to that, they said the elderly um, aren't going to get the fucking treatment he got. They're not going to get this, you know, theme and cocktail they gave this motherfucker. They're going to just be like, you getting regular shit. So I don't know why y'all think y'all going to get the Trump fucking treatment for COVID. You're going to get the regular motherfucker come to the hospital treatment and you going to die. That's what you're going to face. Dead, dead, 
dead. Good old FaceTime <laughs> funeral. <laughs> yeah, you got to say it three times. Dead, dead, dead. That's what it is. I don't know what movie that's from. It's, it's, some from, movie. it's from Savage AF because that's what we do. Just make up stuff. Yeah, all just, just hard. Just hard as fuck. Yeah. Speaking of making up stuff, uh, 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 the most recent or one of the most recent Trumpy Dumpty uh, ad campaigns um, kind of uh, praising his job on, on the, his coronavirus response, you know, cherry picks a, 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 a clip of Dr. Fauci uh, referring and he says something like, you know, I don't know what more anybody could have done. Right. And, and in the greater context, uh, Dr. Fauci is referring to the, the medical and science community, right? And the, oh, yeah. the Trump and, campaign, and then, the Trump campaign splices it down to this and makes it sound like Fauci is endorsing Trump. Was backing Trump, and I think that he's going. They're going to have to take that down because I think Fauci's like, no, but fuck that. I didn't say out. that. Yeah, he's spoken out, and right, he's, he's out. never, he's never and big, publicly endorsed the candidate ever. He, yeah, that's what he said. So I mean, I think that that was fucked up what they did. And big underscore Chris Floyd said that nigga never had this shit. He lied like a motherfucker. And I think that I, I was thinking that conspiracy. I think he did have it. I think he had it earlier than he said he had it. I think he had it when he was at the fucking debate and didn't tell nobody. I think he knew and he don't give a fuck because that's what narcissists do. Yeah. They give a fuck about themselves. They don't give a fuck about nobody else. El Noop in the building. Yeah. But, you know, they El don't Noop. give a fuck about nobody else. TK. So, so suck a dick. All you people that go down there, I, like the, all the people that went down to Florida and they're all cheering for him. You, you know, you're part of that racist fucking covenant. Yeah. So all you motherfuckers can get it, and all your respiratory systems can fall through your asshole. I hope you're taking a shit, and you look in the toilet, and guess what that is? Your asshole you. mixed with you. your respiratory system. Yeah. That's what I want. Um, so it's, it's funny to have Fauci being used in an ad endorsing Trump when they've spent so much time uh, since they've essentially removed him from the task force or any visible presence that uh right that uh, you know all of a sudden his word matters when all this time it hasn't and you know he's been a bit of an alarmist and he's gotten some things wrong well i'm like i think maybe he's gotten his endorsement of of, of you wrong and i'm using endorsement with the, the air quotes for those who can't see but uh you know I, i'm pretty sure that that's the most inaccurate <laughs> presentation of a fauci quote ever you know what i mean is this attempt to have him endorse donald trump when all this other time over actual science the shit you need to listen to dr fauci about give a fuck who dr fauci wants to be president i really don't <laughs> like i don't give a shit about his politics i wouldn't bring him my car my my juicer stops working i'm not gonna be like fauci can you take a look at this no this motherfucker is very good at virology and epidemiology. Okay? Right. <laughs> I'm going to listen yeah. to that motherfucker about that shit. And the whole time you've been trying to discredit everything he says about the shit we and should be And not only that, about. he was jealous of him. He was jealous of Fauci his getting popularity. to throw the ball out at the back. Yeah, his popularity, the fact that the American public believes more in him by like hundreds of thousands of fucking people that believe more in him than they do Trump by far. His his approval rating is higher than Trump, so he takes all of that because he's a fucking child. And all you people that like this motherfucker, your children too, because obviously you, know, you can't differentiate the the bullshit from the real. And I hope y'all all get punched in the face by fucking you know. I hope Kimbo Slice ghost haunts your, your house and just walks around the house punching the shit out of you and your family. Fuck all y'all, really, all y'all. I mean, not some of y'all, not a portion of y'all. All you motherfuckers that back this dude. Fuck all y'all. Let me make a little yeah, all y'all. Right. <laughs> I don't know what that fuck that was, but it looked like that. Sure. I'm trying to use everybody. 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 Miss Adverb said Everybody. He, everybody. Everybody. Fuck all y'all. He's mad he's mad Come Brad. On, man. He's mad Brad Pitt uh played uh, Dr. Fauci on SNL. Um that's that's funny. Uh you know, he, he, yeah, he, he he gets very jealous. Um Dr. Fauci is a resounding voice of truth, somebody you can listen to about this, like I said, you know, about a, a pandemic, about a virus. About um, a virus, sure. And, and Trumpy Dumpty has done, you know, and all of those things were in Trumpy Dumpty's 
raccoon nest that's inside of his skull, you know, he believed that all these things were bad for his administration, you know, having to shut down and all these things when he could have just played it as being responsible, taking charge, pass right. out, pass out money. Everybody stay home. Hey, I'm going to do some fireside chats. Come chill with me. This is how we're right. He doesn't have the safety. capacity. He, he could have done all he's of so that. He's so incompetent. You know, it, right. It, it, I just said he definitely used it to make himself look better, but he can't do that. He doesn't have the capacity. Yeah. He doesn't have the empathy. He doesn't have any of that. He's a horrible man child that was fucking coddled all his entire life, all the way up to this point. He never really, the only thing he achieved is he's a top notch fucking con man. That's <laughs> what I give him props for. He is a top notch con man, wow. and he makes shit up. And that's it. Yeah, no, we saw that um, Jim Carrey, um, that was Jim Carrey that played Biden on SNL. Um, Jim I, Carrey I think played that, Biden, uh, yeah. yeah, it was Jim Carrey. Um, and uh, I think that end of the day, I'm glad Fauci spoke out. I think Fauci needs to speak out strongly. I think his people need to speak out. What's up, Eve? Eve at Eve's underscore Apple 7916 in the building. We're giving a bam right there. And he's, yeah, he's a fucking baby, dude. And the fact that he's going to go out and speak, like you said, I hope that he run out of breath. I hope he hits his head on the corner of the fucking podium. Not the front part, because that's just a flat hit. I want the corner so it cut him. And he <laughs> said, I've, I've never disliked a motherfucker, like, in, in public life. I've never disliked a motherfucker more. Yeah. I mean, I know I made fun about, you know, uh, Gerard Carmichael, and I said, this motherfucker need to be beat about the head, neck, chest, and shoulders. But... I was joking. I was joking there because he's, he's just not a strong comic. That's not as bad as the person that's supposed to be the you know, most, empower, most powerful man in, in, in the world or whatever the fuck. So um, all Leader his of followers free. of the free world, all his followers that um, are watching the show, tell anybody in your family that is a Trump supporter to eat a dick. Eat a dick. And I mean, I not, I mean a detached corpse donkey dick. Fuck you. Zombie dick. Zombie dick, yeah. There you go. Yeah, let's go there. Zombie dick, nigga. <laughs> we probably gonna get we. You know what? Because we're gonna talk about it a little bit later after this. After the next topic, we are on the list of cancel culture for sure. Because Savage AF apparently no. has offended some people, and uh, I've gotten a few messages that are disgruntled about Black Pedro. They're like, he seems so well spoken, but then he just uses his mouth in a dirty, dirty way. Which the ladies like, but <laughs> but it's just weird. Some of the responses that I've gotten on my inbox and some of the responses people have emailed me of the fact that they think that the stuff we're saying. Of course, we say crazy shit, but God damn, yeah, the way that people respond and get upset, and people we've had on here say that you know, all of a sudden, if they don't agree with us, Pedro can't read. Like, how do you make that fucking leap? Because you don't see shit the way I see it, you can't read. That's what it so is. So I don't know if you knew that or not, Pedro. Well, you can't I'm, read. I'm reading that uh, Eve's underscore Apple seven nine one six is in the building. I don't think. I don't think. Did we acknowledge her yet? I don't think I did. I acknowledged her. Yeah. Okay. I, I gave I, her the salute. I feel like I, I gave her the it. salute. Um, I, I think I sent some. Uh, I sent some dick pics from uh, John okay. Jones, UFC champion. So she'll get those in the mail. Yeah, way too much information. Yeah, way too much. All right, so and you know what? I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna be able to access any money for about ten days. You know why? Both cards done. Gotcha. You show up at the bank, dog. They gotta give it to you. Yeah, I can go. Yeah, I'll go. I yeah, might no, have to no, do no. that. But the banks are closed today. Oh yeah. Right. It's it's Columbus Day. No. It's day Indigenous where people's white folks day. stole it. Huh? Indigenous People's Day. It's Indigenous People's Day. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, like it's, yeah, like, I'm gonna go bust in and take some day. shit and say it's mine. Yeah, <laughs> somebody said that. Somebody said this is this is take somebody shit and call it mine day. That's, that's what, what the fuck it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Blessed Aisha, what up though? Even more go lightly in the building, y'all. Oh man, so many gators in the house. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, get the fuck it's out of here with that. Three. Um, all right, but so. you know what? You know what's funny? You all you have so much pride in the Detroit. In Detroit, which is cool, I, I, I love that. But sports wise, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Yeah. What? Who? What? What? I mean, come on. Your sport. I'm saying we, we have a great team. history. We have a great history. You're 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 just focused on the current situation. 
But we okay. are okay. Other than the Detroit Pistons person. back in the day, wait a minute. The Detroit Pistons back in the day, right? But other than that, can't say the Lions. No, can't I'll say never, the Lions. I'll never be able to. Um, <laughs> exactly. The Red Wings. The Red Wings. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of the twenty first century, you know, from the, the late nineties to the to the mid and late two thousands. I mean, the Red Wings have the longest streak of playoff appearances consecutively. I believe it's 26 years of any sports franchise in any sport. So that, that was just a given that the Red Wings were going to be in the playoffs. I've seen them win like four Stanley Cups in my lifetime. I've seen the Tigers win a World Series and go to the World Series like four or five times. Uh, yeah, man. You know, I'm, no, no, I'm fucking we're, with you. We're super Detroit. I can't say shit. I can't say shit. You know what? The Jets... The Jets Ooh. need to never get on a jet again. Mm, yeah. And the Giants but, ain't been giant in forever. But fumble. So, uh, yeah, AJ, yeah, the AJ. Giants ain't no, they ain't no brilliant fucking team. And the, the Nets, ugh, <laughs> not even in the discussion. So, AJ, and I don't understand that. That don't make no fucking sense. But baseball-wise, yeah, yeah, fuck with, fuck with your boy. AJ Fitz. Um, AJ Fitz said, "My mouth can't be dirty because alcohol disinfects it." Um, cheers to that guy. Okay, that makes complete sense. You know what I'm saying? That so, makes complete sense. Everything. No, that, you know what? Though? I, I say think it's clean. Uh, make sure that I was—I was gonna say before that I, we get into the next topic. <laughs> make sure you so y'all stupid. El you Noob, have seen El the to, man, with Jordan. He, yeah, El Noob is trying to haze me. I have. He, not, he I've totally never, tagged you with that one. I though. really don't think. That I saw maybe maybe when I was in fifth grade and I had the threes, and you know it'd be, you you're young you don't know yeah I hadn't my politics hadn't developed yet, um, but by the time I was twelve, shit was on you know what I'm saying that that was the birth of Black Pedro yeah okay but the birth of Black Pedro fifth apparently his like feet to feel his feet feels much more soft and cushy when they're in apparently Jordans. Uh, but we're not going to talk about Actually, they're not, not going to talk about either. But they look good. Yeah, well, yeah but you wear them. Got, like, they're nice, but... Uh, I, I got way more you know what? shoes. Uh, you, know what? Right. I, you know what? I, I had LeBron. I had Braun shoes, but I never had no... Uh, what you call it? Shoes. What they're called? Oh, yeah. Jordans. Jordans. Hey, it's so, all good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> because people... That one day, it was hilarious. There was about 10 people back-to-back -back on the feed that was just giving him the business. They was like... Yeah, why don't you say that while you're wearing your Jordans, motherfucker? I'm wait, like, God damn, wait till savage you, ass but wait crowd. Till you, but wait till you see me in them, though. Like, when they on the street, when they on the block, cold. You ain't, ain't, ain't nobody going to come up and be like, oh, that's fucked look, up, you wearing those. Like, nah. Just look, Eve like, is like, I, I, not I'm the Jordan go. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them go. Anyway, let it slide. Anyway, let it slide. we got way more important things to talk about. This yeah, one, way this more one, shit going this on. And by the way, by the way, I was going to say, make sure you subscribe to the podcast version of the show, iTunes, Stitcher, it's Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And also, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Like, if you missed the show today or you only see a part of the show, you can see more parts of the show by um, subscribing. See my hands? I'm giving you all these measurements. But subscribe to the podcast and subscribe to the YouTube channel. YouTube. Go to YouTube and put in Savage AF Podcast. Subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe today. I'm going to log on right now and see if you motherfuckers, all you motherfuckers are subscribing, okay? So make sure you subscribe to the goddamn channel. I'm sick of goddamn. I'm sick and, of it. And, and That's when you get old black man. I'm sick of this shit. And I'm going to leave the Jordan I'm gonna leave the Jordan argument right here. I haven't, I haven't watched an NFL game in four years. All right? Okay. I want y'all to I want y'all to ask yourselves about that, okay? Have have you have you seen the NFL game? El New. Are are you supporting Frat? What you doing on Sunday? Okay, I'm just telling you right uh -huh, now. Uh -huh, he's the one that uh -huh, went. He already he uh -huh. El New tagged you already. So but I'm saying I'm, but, I'm hitting but him no. right back. So here we go. <laughs> okay, but we got real shit though. He went in on you. This this next one though is, is some real shit, man. Um you know, there there's Fox News and then there's Box News, man, as in the GOP. The grand old party, which which just sounds racist. When you say grand old, I'm like, Ew. Right. or make America great again, yeah, it's like, or Ugh. hang diggers from the tree, it's scary, or picnic. Talk. By the way, you know what picnic really was, y'all. I know you know Pedro. Yeah, pick a nigga, pick a nigga, just pick a nigga. And they would have, yeah, they would have food, and kids 
watch black men after they took their testicles and ball and took their balls and penis and cut it off, put it in their mouth, castration, and and put it yeah, put it in their mouth and then hung them and watched them. So when you say give these people uh, the the percentage of people that are racist, give them a chance. They don't know they were brought up the wrong way. I just feel like nah, fuck that. They are horrible human beings, and the fact they still condone this bullshit because of our pigmentation instead of our, you know, if our personality or content, fuck them all. And Fox News and Fox News and what you're about to tell, talk about is just absolutely the most bitch shit I've heard. Look, I mean, let them know, but it's, I just, I'm going to label this before we talk about this topic. It's some bitch shit. They don't know how to win fair. They just don't. Um, but they know how to win. <laughs> so uh, the California GOP, uh, according to ABC News, I'm looking at this article right here, um, just produced about 15 minutes ago, uh, that the GOP admits to owning these unofficial ballot drop boxes that have popped up in Fresno, uh, Los Angeles, and Orange Counties. So these three major, of course, one three county, that bad in a fucking LA, racism. LA, LA County is a, a a a beast, right? It's a mammoth of a fucking county, right? The Orange County, a beast. I mean, like big, big, big county. Fresno, I don't know much about it, but generally, I would consider it a big area as well, uh, right. and, and 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 populated, um, and. I know in L.A. County, uh, the, there was one box that popped up in front of a church. Um, and, you know, it, it's calling itself an official drop box in the sense of its signage. Um, and one might think it is. But this this is, and when, when, when you say bitch shit, Chang, this is the, the game that they're playing. That's the bitch shit. Yeah, they, bitches. They, they put in a, a box on top of the box. And then when you put your thing in the box, then they lift up their box, and your box never got in the box. And you're back, you know. Right. And then, so they're trying to, they're doing the box thing. It's, yeah, it's, they're doing a it's boxery. box, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's thievery, but it's boxery. And, they, and they, the thing is, they try to act like that. This is the part I understand, and uh, y'all can answer this, and Pedro, you can answer this for me, too. You know what? Um, why do Why do they assume, why do they assume they're so superior if they can't just rock out and win the race fairly? Because yeah. they know they know the deal. And, yeah, I mean, I, and you say, but they win. But I, bro, you can't walk around. Bro. Like, if I know I cheated my ass off, you can walk around and say, I, you know, take the spoils of the win. But you know in your That's heart not, you was a bitch. Man, you ain't heart, nigga. You ain't got no heart. <laughs> that, that, you ain't got no real they, heart. They don't care about that. It, 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 it's like I've said before, man. The, 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 the best way to win, the e I should say the easiest way to win, to ensure victory, is to cheat. And no matter what the game is, poker, politics, you know, ping pong, whatever, dog. Like, if you can find an edge and cheat, that is a better path towards winning. With, with When you just erase morals from it or heart or the rules or whatever, it's like, no, I have this way that I can just win. Like, if, if just winning is your objective, then cheating is on the table. Like, if all you want to do, and that's all they want to do is win, right? So, it, well, it's, the it's, Democrats it's really, need to start doing but, some dirt. Well, well it's, it's really just dawning on me, though, that how, how bold this is because it, it, ta it takes some shit to, to say that there is going to be massive ballot fraud for mail in ballots. And, and absentee ballots, there's going to be a massive fraud for that, right? And then create that fraud. So you make yourself right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By right. doing what you say was going to happen. And, and this, this, I, this is some shit. And, you know, this is in California, you know, a, a, an obviously blue state, right? Like, they're, they're, that's really never in question. Um, so to have the California GEP say that it owns these unofficial ballot drop boxes that were put out. Um, you know, A, I'm, I'm glad they got busted. Um, but B, you know, it's, it's, it is an admission to this, this boldness that is just like undeniable where they're like, 
Oh yeah. We yeah, we that's... just want to all we do is win, 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 no matter what. Like they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't give a fuck, but this but, anything. But, yeah, but this bitchosity that they're showing, this this they're just showing so much bitchosity and bitchosity. And they just can't you know, and then they're gonna look you in the face and act like they're so righteous. Fuck all of them. I know I'm on one today. It's just I feel like, God damn, when do we just say fuck all of them? When is it when you turn the other cheek, then you turn the other cheek, then they smack you in the back of the head because you turn your back, then they kick you in the ass? And how many times are you going to turn around and blast these motherfuckers in their grill? It's time for us to blast these motherfuckers in the grill. There's more people that are progressive and democratic than there are people that are redneck, backward, racist, cunt sticks. So why don't we go at them the same way? Fuck all that they go low, we go high. Let's go as low as they are and start having the same mentality. Win, win, win. I want to find us having from, from some boxes then. If y'all going to act like that, then everybody can do that shit. And I'm going to vote 10 times. I'm going to be 10 other niggas voting. And then all of them going to have the last name Henry or Jones. Yeah. That's what so, it is. So at this point, uh, and I see... Uh, I hope I get this right. Uh, um, Dare Al, CEO, he says, so now what? Uh, great question, because, you know, it, it's one thing to identify a problem. It's a whole other thing to come up with a response to it and, and a solution. Um, so where where I was calling for, you know, people to do things like drop off their ballots in a in a in a drop box and so they can stay safe and don't have to stand in lines. Uh, once they play the game like this, you got to switch it up. So if you're still going to do your mail-in or absentee ballot, you know, it, it's hard for me to trust the postal system right now. <laughs> and uh, so I, I would highly suggest you you're taking it directly to your secretary of state or um, uh, registrar's office, your know, state registrar, whoever, wh whichever right. body handles Ballots. Right, and if and, and, and walk again, I've said this into a building, walk it into in. a room, and and place it with that official body. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what else? Though I want to say this again. And by the way, Eve is going in. They're going back and forth. Eve said, "Black people too busy worshiping Jesus and praying God to do some shit." Um, Eve, I agree with you to a point. Amen. With some of these Amen. people believe in that. Amen. Yeah, yeah but thanks. I'm not. I'm not that thanks. one. But. But I'm going to say this again. If you have older people, because it is more dangerous for older people to be in that line and to be out there voting, let them do their information at the crib. Take it in for them. You, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to take it in for as long as it's an official ballot and it's official. You can take it in because they don't need to be going all the way up in there. And they definitely don't need to be in these four and five hour lines because we already know they're trying to obstruct the fucking vote. So like. Pedro said it, take it. But remember the old folks around you, too, because they their vote counts, too, and they're, they're trying to fuck them over the most, you know, because they already said, well, we don't care if the older people die because of COVID. I mean, that's pretty much what they said. There's no way to fucking put that other than, well, you know, fuck the old people. It's like, yo, these people that are seniors, you know, I'm 67, you know, but I look good for 67. I make it look good, motherfuckers. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, so the older people, like, in their 70s, you know, they, they can't be in four hour, five hour lines. They can't do that. Yeah. So y'all do that. Shit. So season Vesco, she says you can now track it. And, and, and that is absolutely true. Like you you the way the system is intended to work is that you, you, you send in your ballot and it gets scanned at the post office and then it, it, it can be tracked from there as to where it's going and, and, and what, you know, what stage of the process is in. Um, however, and, and, and so I, I don't doubt the process, right. Or, 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 you know, the, the election officials that are actually handling ballots. Um, I'm just, I'm looking at Louis DeJoy, right. Who is the postmaster general and, you know, he's, oh, he, no, you mean, he's the, giving, the, he's, you mean the butt, the butt boy, the butt boy for fucking well, Trump, the or, person that lives in his, the, to the left of his colon. Well, that he's country? also he's also more um, you know also could be considered a puppeteer. I mean, he he, he gave seven hundred thousand dollars to Trump. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah, he's I, big time. Big so time. He, he he's a major donor uh, to to the campaign and uh, organization. So um, yeah, 
you know, it, it, it's hard to trust an organization when, you know, a major donor like that is appointed uh, in, within the year of a critical election um, who begins to dismantle certain mechanisms within, you know. So that, that's why I say, like, my best suggestion is to, if you can, walk that ballot up to a to a to i'll walk a, it in i'll walk it in i'll walk it in i'll walk it in i'll walk it in i'm that. sorry i had to do that it was there hey, get it. um i i yo i want to say it again I, I know i rerun it a lot because a lot of people that just jumped on we see people that just jumped on what's going on all the new people that jumped on stacy what's popping what's popping 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 um yo make sure you guys follow at black pedro all the people on my page if you get a channel follow at black pedro b-l-a-c-k Pedro. I know you know how to spell it, so I'm not going to tell you, you that. Can. I'm not going to insult you with that, other than my friend Ben, who stopped watching because I called him a cunt. So, um, yeah, now now he doesn't watch it. He said, I mean, whenever you do stand-up, I'll come see you, but fuck that. You can't be calling me no cunt. Yay! Ben, they don't, know which, they don't know which Ben you are. You asked me three times what's his fucking Instagram, and I told you, so don't get that little... <laughs> Quit, quit with your bitch, bitchosity. It's not, um, not that hard. Yeah, so, yeah, so slap yourself. Um, but please, please, please know that they are cheating motherfuckers. Now imagine Trump with all of this shit they cheated and the joy and the fucking, all the stuff they tried to do and, and the voter suppression and all that, and they still lose big. I just want to see Trump want to cut his fucking wrist. One person's like, why would you vote for him? I think you said was on here said, man, I'm not voting for none of these motherfuckers. I said, well... I am voting for Biden. I am voting for, uh, I'd say, Miss Harris, if you're nasty. Um, <laughs> I'm voting for both of these motherfuckers, period. That's it. That? I just got some of my information to look at the other people. By the way, this is the thing for where they give you. You should get one of these in the mail, too, where there's different locations so you know where you can actually go for the general election and also for the, your local state elections. This information gives you exactly where you can go and also, it tells you what time you can start. For us, it's October 24th, okay? For us, it's October 24th. But look, right. look the shit up. So, Do some uh, fucking early, research. Early, fucking earlier, future. earlier, Dare, Al, CEO, asked me, you know, uh, now what? And, and he seems to be an anti-voter. He says, y'all vote count towards their system numbers, He's saying we just added to the numbers of those brainwashed so so then then what what's your answer, uh, Dare Al? Yeah, CEO? come up with your solution. You know what? Yeah, I you mean, sound I, like, like Trump and, when he and, talks and about so the healthcare and, system. It, maybe because this is a, a newer name to me, uh, not familiar with it. But uh, maybe you haven't heard us before. Or definitely, you talk about like voting isn't the only thing you do. Like you don't just vote and then sit back. Like now, all my freedoms are. I got a sticker. But yeah, you know, it's it's you know it's part of a process, and if you don't participate in that part, uh, then I don't believe that you have any say in any other part of the system. So you can't really. Right. I mean, you know, I get it. We voted in the past, and things don't always go our way. And oh, the real CEO. Okay, there you go. Well, put more spaces in it when you do the name. <laughs> it's hard to read all these. Yeah, no, in. but I no, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying about. Not voting and being disgruntled and just saying, you know, turning it into the Joker and going, they're always going to act this way. We already know that. They're always going to be this way. But guess what? Yeah. Still going to do it. I just want to do it just so and Trump it, will lose. That's how much I well, hate that motherfucker. Just so I can see his face and all the GOP and Lindsey Graham, that, you know, half. This sounds bad, but that half a fucking bitch. He's a fucking half. Let's do it. The Italians. This fucking half of a bitch of a man tried to step to me as a human being. He don't know. Fucking end up in a trunk. You know why? Because AJ Fitt will kick you right in your stomach. Put you right in the fucking trunk. Paul is short. He don't give a fuck. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't vote, you know what I'm saying? Don't say shit when the shit goes the other way. At least vote and then hold them accountable. We've been saying that. But I ain't going to say that shit again. What I'm going to say is subscribe to the motherfucking podcast and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's what y'all need to do. And thank y'all. I see some of y'all have actually subscribed during this show. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Go to YouTube. Type in Savage AF Podcast. And you can become part of the Savage Nation. Don't be average. Be savage. You already know what it is. God damn it. Yes, he's still kicking midgets in the stomach. Because that's what the fuck we do. 
That's that. You know what? The, if, if I saw somebody do that, I don't know how I'd take it. Part of me would giggle my ass off, mm -hmm. and part of me would stop. Them. Like, part of me, like, hey, don't do that. Then part of me, like, what the fuck are you doing that for? Like, so what did this little person do to you that made you that mad? Like, hey, motherfucker, quit looking up, looking up at me. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, bottom line is, we're always going to tell people to vote. And anybody who doesn't want to vote and wants to come on here talking about not voting, um, A, a we will send you a, if you, if you uh, give us an address, a P.O. box, or whatever, the real CEO, you will get a Savage AF personalized blender hat. And if you're not familiar with that, it's a blender that you plug in, turn upside down, put on your head, then turn it on. Blender hat. Uh, and if uh, that is not to your liking, uh, you can get uh, midget kicked in the stomach into a trunk um, by AJ Fit, um, Miss Adverb, any one of our guests. We have very violent guests here who are avid voters and love stomach kicks with precision into a container of a vehicle that they can then close and drive away like with you in the trunk. <laughs> stomach kicked. So that being said, man, um, <laughs> before we get out of here today, man, uh, talk about making people mad. <laughs> well, it's the screeching off, which makes it even worse. <laughs> talk, yeah, talk about making people mad. Uh, I think your boy Bill Burr did that, man. Um, Woo! On, sat Woo! on Saturday Night Live uh, this past dumb week. Dumb it, dumb it, dumb it, dumb it. Woo! Hey, um, wow. Yeah, so it, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, Bill Burr is, you and I, Shane. Bill Burr, a, Bill Burr, yeah, Bill Burr. Yeah, we had a conversation about this earlier, and you were saying that somebody was like, he should know his, his market, and, and was it know your customers, KYC? Like yeah, Bill, no, Bill the, Burr should have understood, yeah. Burr should've understood that he's on SNL, and he can't say this, and he can't say that. I'm like, well, SNL should also understand that they brought on Bill Burr, and NBC should understand that too. And if you know anything about Bill Burr, he's not going to get up there and talk about how he hates oatmeal cookies or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not about that. No, he's not a he's yeah, he's not that type of he's comic. Not he's guy. not a cat and dogs are different. Cats and dogs. Yeah. And actually, the, the, there was an industry insider that sent to me, said, number one rule is know your customer. Know your customer. SNL is a national TV and cable streaming audience. Okay. Um, you're on NBC where advertisers spend money. The set should have been hip and organic to attract new customers, networks, execs, and Madison Avenue buyers. So basically, they were like saying, you should do that. Now they white. said he alienated white women and pride customers who now will net won't ever pay to see his act. I disagree. I think that the people that like what he did, yeah. and if you watch this whole set, in fact, I posted it on Facebook. I posted a, a link to the set on SNL. Um, you can check it out for yourself. He really didn't say anything that was wrong. Right. And the shit he said about white women, I like the fact he pointed into the camera. What he said about white women, is kind of true. Oh yeah, no, very oh, true. That that definitely. Oh man, unfortunately, I got to go to work today. We got like a minute forty five on this one, so I, we'll repick. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. You know what? We'll we be can, on we'll six pm. And plus, tomorrow we'll have a. Uh, we can go longer. Yeah, yeah. We can go longer tomorrow, but we can't today. So Savage AF, make sure you uh, uh, subscribe to the podcast. Um, Give them the lineup. Uh, what is it? Uh, I shit. ITunes, I say it all the time. iTunes, stickers, snitcher, stack, <laughs> Snickers, <laughs> Snickers, <laughs> iTunes, Google Play, Snickers, the satisfies. Slackers, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify, <laughs> Spotify, Spotify. Right? Um, <laughs> I'm funny. Yeah. I, I, said Snickers, Snickers? Stackers, I didn't know that. Snickers? Crackers, uh, <laughs> man, it's 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 crazy out here, guys. All right, so thank you guys for joining us today. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah. we will see you then. Right. You know, uh, Dos Bidonia. Yeah, Bre Breezy JJs, I might need to eat a little bit. I, I'm, I'm a little hungry. Snickers. Uh, so <laughs> here's what it is, y'all. We'll be back here tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, to seven. Right here on IG. And we'll pick it back up. We'll pick yeah. it back up because we couldn't, we ran out of time. We'll pick it back up. We miss you too, SRNC. Uh, listen, El Noop, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, really, really appreciate y'all.
in the meantime. Appreciate y'all support. And appreciate y'all subscribing. And appreciate y'all in general. And thank you for our lieutenants. And we appreciate you because we got some hardcore lieutenants in the building. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, RVA Gourmet is the uh, the Secretary of Education, and uh, Miss right. Avlar is Sergeant at Arms, and then What's up, uh, and then AJ Fit three sixty five is the official midget kicker. <laughs>